Hello everybody, my name is Merc, and in honor of Indie Game the Movie, I decided to check out some Super Meat Boy. Now if you've never played Super Meat Boy, just imagine Super Mario Brothers on steroids or something made it like a hundred times harder to the most absurdness that it could be without the power-ups and killing of enemies, just the platforming. That's pretty much what this game is. So, let's go to Hello World, and let's just choose a Meat Boy, but as you can see there is a plethora of other characters here, and some of them I'm very close to unlocking. I, As you can see I'm not near 100%, but I'm kind of, like I'm 70% with the bandages. I, I'd say 70% overall sounds about good, 70 or 80. So, as you can see, I am Meat Boy, and wherever I go, I leave some sludge of s well, sludge of meat around me. A slurry, if you will. <laughs> so, the point of this game is to save Bandage Girl, who later gets captured again by Dr. Fetus, as you saw there, very quickly. So, you can have, you have your own features, like wall jumping, and this run button, which make you run faster, to do things like jump across a pit like that and generally move faster. The point of this game is pretty much a time attack. Not really. It's most it's half survival, half getting collections, and I know I've said half twice already, but and then half time trial because you're supposed to beat the level first and then get the collections so you can get more characters. You can also go into warp zones. Now what's a warp zone? Well, now I'm playing Super Meat Boy on what appears to be like an arcade machine or like Game Boy, I don't know. I'm gonna go with Game Boy here, Game Boy Advance or something. So as you can see, it's just, it's definitely harder, I, okay this is a perfect level to explain that it's definitely harder because now I have to land in that middle block. So to do that I have to not die, basically. That was a little sloppy, I could have just jumped up after I hung onto the wall, but and it, you only get three lives each level to do this. If you lose three lives on any of the levels, you will just stop playing. So this level is not necessarily fun. And then come up here. Uh oh. That's not good. <laughs> come on! Cool. Sorry Meat Boy, but Bandage Girl is in another warp level. So. As you can see, there's a quite a bit of challenge to this game, and that's what makes it good. So let's quickly, I'm going to try to do this as fast as possible, run through these final levels on easy mode, basically. This is world one. Oh, easy mode, he says. So let's go. Alright. And get the bandage go right there. Now we have to slide down here and do it again. I'm making this almost seem routine, <laughs> but at this point and how long I've uh, been playing and now that I have a freaking controller to play with, because I started with keyboard, and this is one of the games that I was like, oh, I definitely should probably get a controller for. So I did. And I don't, I definitely don't regret it. Because <laughs> I would not, not have gone this far without this controller. Because you have to run, and holding that run button does not work for how precise the other, the other fingers have to be. I like the fact that jump is uh, not W in this case. It's separate away from my left and right. So finish this, I think, last level, maybe? Avoid these saws. Definitely need to be precise when you do this. Less so on this level, but right here, you definitely need to be a bit more precise than otherwise. So, let's check out the boss level for this world. So, he's running through the forest, as we were, and now we see Dr. Fetus with a bunch of gasoline. What is he gonna do? Oh, what a dick. Why is he doing this? Oh, what the hell? And we're gonna die. Yep. Now, this is the first boss level. It's not really 
that difficult, but it gives you a good example of how bosses kind of go in this game. There's another boss, I think it's only one boss, that has like its own AI, and you have to try to kill, kill it with it pretty much. But in this one, you just have to run away from it, and other ones you have to run away from them. And it's definitely not easy. It's a little bit of concentration, to say the least. And if you're not used to it, this is definitely going to be a hard level on the first time. And I've fact, died twice now. I wasn't expecting that. Let's just try to go as fast as possible. Because that's generally how I feel is the best way to go <laughs> through this. For most levels, anyway. Seems like everything syncs up for it. Like that, kind of. Cool. So, you just hang out up here. And now, you just wait for him to come. And he will go and crash, I guess. So, it's not really like the most complex of a boss level, but it certainly is a step up from what else they were throwing at you at this point in the game. And I 100% uh, that chapter, because I am awesome. No, because that chapter is really easy, so it explains why I can do it. So let's go, let's go to the hospital, yeah. It's the second world. Start off in a forest, now you go to a creepy hospital. A little reference to a Castlevania game, if I remember correctly. Right there. And let's just skip ahead a little bit. And this time, let's uh, show the headcrab from Half-Life, why not? Let's see how bad I fell at this. This doesn't seem like a good level to use it with. Oh, no! Okay. So go down here. I forgot, that's... As long as you're holding the jump button, or the run button, you uh, do not slide. That's how it works. Very well, anyway. Oops, that's not really intentional. I gotta, I gotta beat this level with my head crab. I think it's possible. So just jump through here and fall in the pit in the bottom. I'm just taking out all the head crabs for Gordon Freeman. I know he doesn't like them. There are gonna be none in episode three by the time I beat this level. <laughs> There we go. And you can also, yeah, grind on the ceiling as you see there. Which is weird. And just drop down. This time, we definitely gotta watch the replay. I haven't even shown the replay yet. So, those are all my lives. Like that Cloudberry Kingdom, but if anything, Super Meat Boy did it first, but it's still a very good idea. They all die to make it over here. That's my first life, I think. Yeah. Definitely. Actually, can I try this one with Meat Crab? Oh, or Head Crab. Meat Crab, yeah! I love meat crab, tastes delicious. <laughs> now I gotta wonder, what does head crab taste like? Do we do we really want to know? In that future, I think that head crab... <laughs> what other food would there be for those people? Okay, let's get out of here now. I don't want to do another head crab level. I'm surprised I did that one. Um, okay, let's check out uh, up here. If you've noticed, there's a glowing one. Has a little emoticon face there. I think that's thumbs up, might be, maybe. And I broke my game. What the hell? No, actually, it is the glitch level that you sometimes find. Um, like, basically, as you beat a level, occasionally you will see meet or Bandage Girl all glitchy looking. And when you get to her during those times, because if you die, she will not be glitchy glowing again. She might be, but... Chances are slim to none, but anyway, if you get to her, you unlock the glitch level for that zone, and you only have three lives, and as you can see, this one is definitely not easy, it took me a good 20 minutes to beat this on the first try, I bet, well, not, obviously not on the first try, I didn't take 20 minutes on one try, that would have been, again, Super Meat Boy, to say the least. Oh, that was close, okay, come on, I got this. Let's do this. So this part is hard. Basically, you see these brown blocks right here? You can, if you jump from there, you will succeed if you don't suck. I had to jump immediately as soon as I hit that other wall. And I don't know if that's going to be happening while I'm doing this commentating. <gasps> that was close. 
This is my last life, right? So, if I fail here... I thought I was honestly gonna fail there right when I said that. And that would have been funny for me. I would have laughed. You would have laughed. But it didn't happen, so that's good. Let's continue. Alright, come on. I got this. Now, this jump. Not this jump, but... This next, These jumps are a pain in the tickle. Yes, that's what I said. Okay, come on. Fuck. Let's go, uh... Show some later levels. Actually, let's go to this warp zone. Bloodshed. That's a great name. What's, what does a bloodshed picture look like? Huh. And it's made by Ammon26, I guess? 26? Alright, so... Come through here, get die to a slime. That's another, that's actually probably the first time I showed an enemy, right? Yeah. And basically, they just move and kill you. You can't do anything about them. You need to get the key and go through here before all those slimes on the left side get up there. Because they will ruin your easiness, I guess. I don't know. You just have to get out of the building, I guess, before they start going down the other side. So, that's, this is the second level, I think, I'm sure. Oh, god damn it. Yeah, level two. Two lives left. As you can see, your lives regenerate if you beat the level. That was pretty decent. Get Banjo's girl. Cool. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Alright, last level. I believe in myself. I can do this. Can't do glitch worlds, but I can do warp zones. Ah, oh, god damn it. Again, he says as he dies. That's gonna be my freaking catchphrase. I don't know if I like that catchphrase. <laughs> Come on. Oh, god damn it. One last life. Be disappointed if I don't win this. It doesn't seem that challenging. Come on, I can believe. I believe in myself. I can do this. All you gotta do is believe, kids. Awesome. Another warp zone. God damn it. Let's go check out the boss of this one. Actually, no, let's not go check out the boss of this one. Let's continue and up, uh, up the ante a little bit. Let's not go to hell just yet. Let's do a couple levels on the salt factory. Which, as you know, if you are meat, you can't be salt. Did. I don't know. I guess salt instantly uh, dries them up or something. I don't know. All oh, this level. Alright, so you're going to meet something new. A new type of AI, I guess fucking rockets that home in and I definitely do not like these and they're not even the worst kind other kinds of rockets for lack of a better word I don't know see that you see that that was pro no not really that was pretty much average in Super Meat Boy especially since this is world 3 and I'm not even in the dark world which I will show right after this a little wall chasing you like a wall level in a uh, Cloudberry Kingdom not too shabby. So, let's go to the Dark World. Let's check out that same level in the Dark World with me, boy. So, now you might notice that there is a couple more um, salt piles, basically. Like that one right there. Pisses me off. I remember this level kind of well. Do this. Now, you need to go over. Oh, god damn it. So, now. Obviously, since we're not in a warp zone, I have unlimited lives, I can just die over and over, and in fact, that's probably the intention of the game's creator, for you to die over and over, and over and over, and over and over. Oh my god, see that little part right there? That's why I remember that part, because I do that so often. All they did is add a couple more changes to the same level, Oh, and made it not fun. Not fun at all. <laughs> That's why I'm playing this and laughing. Well, chuckling. I don't know. What do you call it? I don't know. I don't know what you call it because you're telling me right now and I don't know. I can't hear you. That's how it works, just so you know. I don't hear you right now. But I'll tell you to, like, remind me things because it helps. <laughs> like, uh, shit. In the Binding Wise video, I, t I told you guys to remind me something. I don't know if I helped or not. I have to go check that out. <laughs> What am I even talking about anymore? I'm talking about dying over and over on this level, god damn it. Fucking Super Meat Boy, man. Let's not do much more dark levels after this, dark world levels, because 
as you can see, they are not my friends. So, got a key. Now I have to go back over here. It's still chasing me. Fuck. I'm only going to do this a couple more times. Since that was the very first time I got that key, I have to see if I'll ever succeed in getting that key again. Because if not, this is going to be a very a fun video. Basically, at about 13 minutes in, you get to this point, and the next 13 minutes is this level. God damn it. So that's how it can work. Take it slow, bro. Come on. Not that slow, there's a wall chasing you. Oh my god. Oh fuck. I told you not that slow. Okay, so contrary to what I just said, don't take it slow, bro. Fast, fast, fast. Oh god dude, that was painful. I felt that in my spleen, man. This game hates me. That's what it is. It's like, fuck you. I don't need you to be playing me on your stupid series. And I'm like, dude, just calm down a sec. I just want to play a little bit. And they're like, no. I'm fucking Super Meat Boy. I don't do that shit. I don't calm down. I get Bandage Girl. Fuck's sakes. I, I'm flabbergasted that I actually did that. Let's watch this replay. Watch all the guys die right there. Die in the next part. Oh my god, look at the bloodbath. Look at the bloodbath. Good, like, six guys got into here. Two. Only two made it on the back. And good thing I remembered. Watch this part right here. I can't go, I can't jump that. I had to go jump on the other wall to be able to jump over that. I remembered that in the last half second. Well, not really. I knew it was coming. This whole time I was playing this, I knew I had to go back all the way. And there actually is a level here that I haven't finished, so you might as well just go do it. Because one, oh my god, I know this level. I'm going to show you some of it, but there's no way I'm doing this level. So as you can see, there's rockets here. And there's a bandage on the top. And basically... Oh my god. I can finish right now. But I honestly have to go for that fucking bandage. I have to. So. And I can't get the grade A plus on this level either. Because I've already wasted too much time. So I have to be so careful right here. If I fuck this up... This is like the farthest I've made it. Ah, oh, and so long to be honest. Okay, maybe because I'm on camera, I decide let's do a little bit better. So let's die the same part again. I think it's gonna happen again. Fuck! Oh, I didn't die. I <laughs> preemptively said fuck. I do that so often too. I like, did I die? Oh, damn it! I didn't. <laughs> he says as he dies. Okay, let's do this. Cool. All right. Ah, that part's fiendishly designed because you have to like time it so appropriately, so precisely, and you're just like, no, I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't even wanna. Am I still on Dark World? That could be a possibility. That probably is the possibility. I really could have just got her right there, but. Probably would have been an A plus, but now it's definitely too late for an A plus rank. So I'm gonna jump immediately up and then wall jump to the right there. Oh my god. Oh my god! Fuck! <laughs> god damn! As you can see, this game is very difficult and I hate rockets. These are like my least favorite thing in this goddamn game. And they get harder. There's other harder types of rockets which I'll show you after this life because there's no way I'm beating this on camera. Even though I've gotten closer, the closest I've gotten to in a long time, I have to get this bandage. I just have to because I don't want to do this level ever again. Even though I'm probably going to want the A+, but you know, A+, is easier to get to bandage. Or er, fuck. Pretty sure I have to grind up that t that right wall in order to be able to get to the bandage on the left top left corner like that. Because I need a bit of speed going up. So this part's gotten pretty basic for me so far. I'm going to give it one or two more lives. Oh my god, I can't believe I'm doing that successfully now. Because I was honestly playing this the other day and I tried this level and I wasn't even making it up that wall and I was like, what the fuck. <sighs> okay, one last life. 
because that was so close as well. Slide down there. Cool. Alright. Let's do this. Fuck. Fuck! Okay. Well, I'm done for now for that one. I have to try that later, and I might even just do that level as its own episode, because I have a feeling it's going to take me a while. Let's, so, let's go to hell. Now, nah, I think this is like a Ninja Gaiden reference. Yeah. They're all running at each other. Look at each other's eyes. Oh my god, more running. Pshing! Slice each other. Oh, the meat boy dies. So what does he do? Kicks him into hell. What a dick! I really don't like that guy. So am I still in the dark? No, I'm not, thankfully. Thankfully I'm not. So let's uh just start off from over here. Why not? Level 9. Uh, let's try Alien Hominid. I don't know if you've played this game before. I actually have it for the GameCube. And basically, you have your blaster. And you can do like a little extra part of your jump with it. But I think I might be having a problem with that moving platform. We shall see. Yeah. Huh. So, um, I've watched another Let's Player play uh, this game. And whenever he goes on moving platforms, he slides a little bit, and I just noticed myself doing it too, and you might be able to notice it if you go play it back. Right there, and I might just... Hmm. Yeah, I'm moving a little bit to the right there. So I haven't even used Alien Hominid's extra little power here. Fuck. Ah! Oh. Okay, let's check out his power. That's it, right there. So it gives you extra height in your jump. But it's... Hardly useful, actually. It was just a little bit of use right there and right there too, because I got more momentum going up than the last time. He has less mo up of momentum, I guess, without it than the other characters. I'm assuming. So I'm just gonna try to use it as often as possible. Is it? Is it run? Okay. Well, I'd rather use X for it, because you can hold the right trigger to run and then use X to use the blaster. And X and right trigger also are just run. That's how it works. I'm gonna try this one last level with Alien Hominid, and if I stop, <laughs> if I stop dying for once, maybe, and actually beat it, I will show you one last level to end this. But this part is not easy, and that next jump is not either. So. Like I'm going to have to wait for this moving platform. Yeah, it's not really noticeable, and I think it might be less noticeable than um, with the program that I'm using, Playclaw, instead of Fraps. Because when I saw it in Fraps, it was he was moving a lot. I should have shown the freaking replay of that, but unfortunately it's too late now. So, let's just quickly check out the Rapture, which is great. I'm not going to show this for you. So now we are in the Rapture, and... There's quite a bit of levels here, too. Let's go to the Abomination. And let's use... They each have their own uses. Let's use Commander Video from the Bit Trip series. And as you can see, he has his own ability where he can just float in the air, and he has a rainbow thing, just like in his games. I have to get this key. Not die to those guys. Unfortunately, since I am Commander Video, I am slower. I knew this would happen. Whoever I was going to pick is going to be worse off than Meat Boy. It's kind of what happens. But then if you want to get certain bandages, you're going to need the extra characters to uh, definitely help out with their abilities. Because otherwise, it'll be harder. Like, Commander Video is one of the first characters you get, so his ability isn't too different than what else you got. I think I might do it this time though. He says as he fucking dies. Alright, I think I got this. Yeah. As soon as you get them clumped up, that's when you know you did it. So 
so let's do okay one last one let's go to the end chapter six everything's black and white now because he destroyed everything he's like I win I still have bandit girl it's the end and this is I guess like Pokemon I don't know so as you can see I a plus all of it which I am fucking proud of because these are hard levels and if I think this one gently is the one I dislike the most no, it's gotta be, it's gotta be. Okay, I just wanna show the one I really, really dislike. It's gotta be Omega. Yeah, why would I think it's the second to last level? It's definitely gotta be the last level. So I just have, have to show this. This is such... <laughs> I don't even know what to explain. You have to see how precise I have to do everything, like... You're probably going to hear my fucking 360 controller rattling. I notice in the other videos that I have used it, I hear it. So you're definitely going to hear like weird sounds like as my as I move back and forth to try to stay my, stabilize myself in the air, I guess. I think for that part I have to do a really really tiny jump over that big saw and just it'll perfectly line myself in as long as I'm running. That's how it works in this game. So let's get back up here, do a tiny jump there. If I beat this on camera I'll be so proud, but I don't know how much time I'll put into this. I think I'll make this a 30 minute long video, another one. I'm trying to make my videos shorter, Not, I'm not trying to, but a little bit shorter wouldn't be too bad. But what's funny is, I get into these grooves and I'm like I have to go on. And then I put, decide to play Binding of Isaac. That's perfect game for short. I, I thought I was going to die, to be honest with you. Which is spoilers, because uh, I didn't. So if you didn't want to watch that 58 minute video, don't worry, I didn't die. <laughs> Beat the game. <laughs> yeah. And that's also made from the same guy that I've mentioned so many times before. Edmund McMillan. New DLC coming out. For the Binding of Isaac coming out in a couple days, and oh god, that was so close! Oh my god, I don't know if I can make that jump just by running it. Oh my god! And his new movie, well, not his movie, but indie game, the movie, starring him and two other characters or two other games. Oh my god! Starring Super Meat Boy and two other games, Fez and Braid, which I showed in an earlier video I just uploaded today. It is freaking... I can't wait for it. Like, it's... Yeah, it's going to be pretty cool. I don't like movies, but I have no problem watching that, I bet. <laughs> so, yeah. Hope you guys had a fun time watching me go through this. I'm so surprised I beat this level. So, I'll leave it at that. Hope you guys had a fun time.